I absolutely loved wearing this. We happy? Yeah, we happy. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to review these new Central Obsessions Luxury Blend fragrances that require more expensive oils. I don't know if you guys have been watching my channel, but I really like Central Obsessions for their price. It's kind of stepping outside the box, which I appreciate to make better overall sense and offer them out to us. And although I really, really like that cheap price, and that's one of my favorites from Central Obsessions, he keeps those original fragrances at those prices and gives you the option of these. I'm pretty sure from what I was seeing, everything was about $10 more. I'll put the differences in price down below right now but yeah it was about ten dollars more so it is going to be a little bit more money but at the same time they were so so affordable i think it was like 45 dollars for four ounce for the other stuff it was already really high quality and most of this stuff you can definitely tell the quality is pretty much through the roof let's start off with royal obsession now royal obsession is a perfumes de marley Layton clone i just did a video on dapper fragrances dapper fragrances one of their most purchased fragrances is perfumes de marley Layton. i really really like the quality of that so i sprayed them side by side and dapper fragrances it has a little bit more of a fullness a little bit more of a sweet vanilla central obsessions here is a little bit more 3d a little bit more complex and a little bit more I would say harder to blend, but at the same time contain, like, contains almost all the ingredients that you'd want in the latent DNA. And then I thought the Dapper Fragrances version was not really that 3D at right away, but then I gave it like a minute or two and it did have its own kind of 3D image. You could tell they definitely use different ingredients to make these fragrances, but it's hard to because I honestly could go with both, but I just really appreciate that this seems like harder to create a 3D style scent like you have here. So Royal Obsession, very, very good one of my favorites the greek hero this one is a parfums de marley herod clone i don't know if you guys watch my channel but my very first niche fragrance that i tried was parfums de marley herod and i absolutely loved herod i still like herod to this day i found some stuff that i kind of might prefer more over it but at the same time i still have that classic love for it i'm always probably gonna like herod to a certain degree and i don't think anything's really going to bump it out but i guess herod has really high quality juices because not very many houses recreate it i have Babylon Fragrances did a hair clone, I forget what it's called, but it was really, really good, really high quality, but it had something that was very, very distinctly not Herod. The Greek hero here is much, much, much more closer to the actual original Herod. Herod has this weird vibe. It's dark, it's tobacco-y, it has iso -y super, and almost has, in my opinion, like kind of like a plum vibe. I don't really like the plum vibe, but after a while of smelling it, people have talked about it, and I do notice the plum in there. This one is just so, so, so close to the original in my opinion. The original kind of morphs a little bit more because I feel like its utilization of ISO -E Super is just a little bit different, but I absolutely loved wearing this when I, I tried all these for a full day once and I just absolutely love this and very few things, if any, would give away that it's not Herod. I would say this is probably 98% similar. Longevity and projection on this one is, it's pretty solid. I would say that it's around the actual Herod line in between good and great, not beastly, but in between good and great. Very, very solid. Really enjoyed this. If you like Herod, I really enjoyed it. It's Two Kings. Now, Two Kings is a blend of Aventus and Elysium. And to be honest, personally, it's just really interesting this blend it's not necessarily bad but i felt like elysium kind of already borrowed things from creed aventus it almost smells a little bit more grainy it doesn't really smell too much like aventus or elysium to me personally again i have not smelled the original elysium i'm going off the elysium clone that i had from babylon fragrances which i really really liked but this one yeah it just smells kind of like aventus cologne kind of a little bit lighter a little bit more grainy some of the aspects of the original but not too much overall for me this didn't wow me but if you like elysium and you like Aventus, maybe give this a whirl. I can guarantee you, you know, he put as much effort into it as he possibly could. Cabin on the Beach. Now, Cabin on the Beach is a Amouage Beach Hut Man clone. I said this in the other video. Mr. Sillage, a fragrance reviewer who passed away, really recommended um, Amouage Beach Hut Man. I got a sample of it. I really, really liked it. Also, real quick, he's kind of switched up his private blend names to have different names than the originals, which is kind of nice. That's what Alexandria does. That's what Dua does. That's what kind of like everybody's doing and it kind of helps you search for that fragrance it's kind of confusing i really like that he gives them his own names cabin on the beach but i did spray this side by side with the dapper fragrances and the dapper fragrances um, they're both very very good both very strong dapper fragrances i would say is maybe five percent more full 
and I get more pepper from it. This one is a little bit more well-rounded. I did get a little bit of a hormonal quality with this one, which I, I didn't think was in an original. It kind of smells something that's kind of in the middle of a designer and a niche that's not bagging on the blending or anything like that. It just doesn't have that overall super niche quality like the rest of them do, but I just really, really like this fragrance and it's really well done here. A little bit more 3D than Dapper Fragrances Cabin on the Beach. Not surprising, this is the King of Queens. This is one of my absolute favorites from the line. I believe this is a Baccarat Rouge 540X Straight clone. And if you guys have been watching on my channel, I absolutely love Baccarat Rouge 540X Straight. My coworkers gave me a compliment with it. I just really like Baccarat Rouge 540. The only thing you could probably say negative is that it's a little bit feminine. I was noticing that when there's a lot of outside smells going on, I don't really want to wear it as much. Kind of want to wear it more in like a cleaner environment where it's not really competing with a lot of other things. But really, really love this stuff. Absolutely love it. Definitely going to be in my top three. I love Baccarat and this is super, super high quality King of Queens. Have a good night. I'll put what this fragrance is supposed to copy down below. I forget. I definitely did wear this for a full day and it's just a very good niche style sweet fragrance. I don't know what it is, so I'll, I'll put it down below. Oh, what is that? I can't really tell you what it is, but it's kind of dark. It smells a little bit gourmandy. It smells sweet. It's really, really good. Comparing it to the other sweet fragrances on this list, I have to edge them to the other ones a little bit more. Although when I wore it for a day of testing, I liked it and I really, really like it right now. It's unfortunate that I don't know the name, but very, very solid, almost a little nutty too. Have a good night, very solid. Can't find the little bottles on two of them. One of them was called Trippin' in Love. There you go. Trippin' in Love, it kind of smells a little bit like Paisley Sky. And I really do like enjoy Paisley Sky for Happy Land fragrances. It's kind of like this unique hippie style free, sweet fragrance that I really, really enjoy. I kind of prefer Happy Land fragrances version of it. I don't know if it is supposed to copy the same fragrance, but I do prefer Happy Land fragrances Paisley Sky to Trippin' in Love. Although it was very solid and I did enjoy wearing it. I'm really sad that I do not have the little bottle to it but probably my number one fragrance i'm going to give you my top three after this but probably my number one fragrance out of all of these one that i would put in my top fragrances of all time list if i had a bottle is central obsessions perfumes de marley carlisle i think it's called three rivers wow now that one i just love that fragrance it's amazing how it's so kind of similar in certain ways to other fragrances but it's also so so unique and so likable and so sexy it lasted so long and like i said it feels like it's top tier in so many different categories it's sweet it's likable but it's also got just enough normal cologne vibes last and last and last smells so good i probably would say that my favorite overall and one that i would be interested in getting a bottle of is that three rivers and my top three i had edge herod over layton because this is the closest copy that i've ever smelled to herod and most people don't copy herod so i really really like it i'll give that number three number two i'm going to go with king of queens the back rat rouge 540x straight clone smelled so so good can't deny it would love to wear this almost every day number one is the three rivers the perfumes de marley carlisle clone which just absolutely blows me away carlisle did so much when it first came out it has that typical perfumes de marley style dna but it's so much more stronger and at the same time it's well balanced and usually when you make a fragrance stronger you kind of have to rebalance it and sometimes it, it's too strong right away or some of the fragrance parts are off-putting but carlisle just smells so so good three rivers i highly recommend it that's been my top three from central obsessions private line i've enjoyed almost all these fragrances actually i have enjoyed them all but certain ones fall into my absolute love category a little more than other ones so anyways guys let me know if you tried central obsessions what fragrances have you tried down below have you tried the private line i'd be very interested to see we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace